Hi, my name is Greg Seward. I'm the director of the Tobacco Consultation Service here at UMass and part of what we think is a great tobacco team. In addition to myself, there are some wonderful people like Dr. Zadonis, who's the chair of psychiatry and a tobacco expert, and Nicole Day, who's a tobacco treatment specialist. Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to meet with you while you're here. Perhaps we've already met with you. This is a quick video just designed to give you some tips on proper use of nicotine replacement therapy medications. I'm going to focus on three of them. There are seven that are FDA approved here in the country, but the three I want to talk to you today are the ones you're probably more aware of. The nicotine patch, the nicotine lozenge, and the nicotine gum. These medicines can be used to help keep you out of nicotine withdrawal even if you don't want to quit smoking. If you're not using these medicines and like to be considered for them, talk with your treatment team. Your doctor would write an order for them. They're all in the pharmacy. All it takes is an order for you to begin to use them. Once again, even if you don't want to quit smoking. But once again, we certainly hope that you will. The first medicine that I'd like to talk to you about is the nicotine patch. It comes in three strengths. The 21 milligram, there's also a 14 milligram and a 7 milligram. The 21 milligram patch looks about the size of a silver dollar. It's used on your skin, a clean, dry area of your upper, upper torso, sorry, such as your arms, shoulder blades, even the upper part of your chest. The patch is applied and held in place for about 10 seconds firmly just to make sure it adheres well to your skin. A new patch is put on every morning. If you're using the patch to help quit smoking, as part of your plan. You would use a new patch every day, typically starting at the 21, then tapering to the 14, then tapering to the 7, over the course of 6 to 8 weeks, perhaps even more. In addition to the patch, there's two oral agents I want to talk to you about. The nicotine lozenge and the nicotine gum. First, the nicotine lozenge. It originally came out as a regular size lozenge, about the size of a penny. More recently, there's the nicotine mini lozenge, which looks smaller than the size of a candy like a Tic Tac. Both come in four and two milligram sizes. Four milligrams if you're smoking over a pack, and two milligrams if you're under a pack. With the lozenge and the gum, you want to be sure that you use them properly. With the lozenge, you just suck on it. Avoid fluids because when you swallow, you'll be washing the nicotine down your stomach. Avoid acidic beverages. Things like coffee, colas, and acidic juices like grapefruit juice raise the pH of your mouth and the nicotine won't get absorbed well. Whether you're using the lozenge or the gum, remember that tip. With the gum, it comes in two and four milligrams as well. Kind of sounds and looks like a chiclet, doesn't it? You crunch and park it. Don't chew it like regular gum. Crunch it till you get a funny taste. That's a signal the nicotine's being released, and park it between your cheek and gum. When the taste goes away, crunch it again, and then park it on the other side of your mouth. Avoid fluids, avoid acidic beverages. Now sometimes, if you're smoking more than a pack a day, maybe two packs a day, you might need two patches. That's called high-dose therapy. It's okay. Your doctor would have to consider you for it. Sometimes combination therapy is used, where you might use the patch, it's a good slow onboarding of nicotine, plus the lozenge or the gum for what we would call breakthrough cravings. If you've been smoking for a long time and always having a cigarette after meals, for instance, just finishing a meal could trigger a craving. So you've got the patch on, then the lozenge or the gum for a quick bump up in nicotine to help keep you more comfortable. I certainly hope you'll quit. But even if you don't, remember, you can be considered for these medicines. We'd be happy to talk with you. We have outpatient clinics in a variety of settings here at UMass. Simply call 508-334-5393 to make an appointment. There's also the quit line in Massachusetts. Any resident of Massachusetts can get free counseling and be considered for free NRT. That number is 1-800-QUIT-NOW. Well, take care. This is the end of the video. I hope to have the opportunity to meet with you soon. All the best.